Alright, well, welcome back. So, uh, I got a change of plan going on here. So, I got two cars in here for you. I got the 65 right here. This is a personal car. So, 65, we're working on now. Wife is taking out the uh, tail light bezels. These right here. These gotta come out. There's four nuts on the inside. Right there. Four nuts on the inside that uh, you got to unloosen to pull those bezels out. She already took this one out just now. So there's another one that's gotta come out. So then we gotta take these rear quarter extensions off. They're bolted in inside also as well. And then I could get to the taillight panel. So she's taking that apart right now. I got the 69 up on jack stands. As you can tell, I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing is a lot better condition than I had originally thought. Couldn't believe it. I got under it when I was jacking it up. I was like, man, it's, all this underneath the front is still in good condition. The frame rails, they're not rusted out. The, the, the battery apron is, which we already saw. And one thing I wanted to mention that when we were put, when we got this car and we put it under a tarp, these hood hinges were up. So I tried to get them to go down so we could put a tarp over it. Well, as I was doing that one, the nuts were seized. They would not turn, they wouldn't spin. So I tried to beat it off and that's why I got a hole in that apron now. Good thing though is the reason why I did it because there's rust in the back of that apron right there. So I was gonna have replaced that apron anyway. But frame, look at that. All I gotta do is sand that surface rust off. I already looked underneath it, there's no holes. Sand that this core support is, is usable. It's not rusted out, it's solid. Underneath is solid, except for the floor pan. Now here's the good thing about this floor pan. This floor pan here, I can buy a whole one piece and I'll buy a seat riser for both sides and just cut this floor pan out, put two new ones in on each side, save the tunnel. I was thinking I was gonna have to replace the whole entire floor, no, I'm not gonna do that. So as far as the dash goes, that surface, metal, surface rust on that metal inside the dash here, I'll just sand that down and uh, paint all that black. Uh, well, we also got the torque boxes. They sell torque boxes patches, but I'm gonna go ahead and just replace both torque boxes, the whole, the whole thing. So I'll grind the spike spot wells out and start grinding those out later at a later date. So we got some numb nut on a motorcycle driving around here or dirt bike. But anyway, sorry for that noise, people. So um, my plan is to work on that car and this car at the same time. Work on both, get them both done. I'm more than likely going to be focusing most of my work hours, work time on the 65 because this is a personal car and it's been sitting for about a year and a half and we just tore it apart. So we're going to go ahead and most of our focus will be on this car, but I'll be working on both at the same time. Um, an update. I did grab, that came in, I did grab that. That's the rear trunk brace that goes on the back of the gas, where the holds the back end of the gas tank. Gas tank sits here. This one's rusted out, I got a new one. And I also got these bumper trunk brackets. I got another one for this side. And we already got the taillight panel and I already, show, uh, already showed y'all. So she's gonna take these extensions off and then I'll start grinding out the spot welds that go to this taillight panel. So we're gonna go do that here. Um, I've already got a long enough video going on here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, like, share, and subscribe for future updates because we're gonna be doing both cars, 69, R code Mach 1 fastback, and I located a 428 Cobra jet motor. Happy about that. 
and the 65. So we're gonna restore both of these cars. Can't wait. Peace out. Thanks for watching.